Hello instructors. In this video, we'll discuss the recent updates to Isaac, Brock University's Sakai-based learning management system. The updates themselves, relatively speaking, were not wide-reaching. However, there are a series of new features that we, ex we expect will be useful to Brock University instructors. Beginning with the View Site As feature, which is available in the upper right-hand corner of any site that you're accessing as an instructor, it's possible to toggle your view to that of other roles within the site, most notably that of a student. So as an example, within the Resources tool, I've generated a folder that's intended for use by instructors or TAs only. We know that it's hidden because the font is grayed out. Toggling to Student View confirms this. It's possible also to view your other tools um, as uh, from the view of a student or other users as well, just to confirm that your content is accessible as you've intended, as you've intended for it to be but don't forget to exit your student view afterwards. The process for adding or enabling tools to your course site has remained largely unchanged. However, there have been some interface changes, most notably the menu on the right, which automatically updates itself as you enable tools from the list on the left. But don't forget, of course, to click the Continue button at the bottom of the page. The newly added plugin tools menu provides a list of external tools to the Sakai system. They're external in that they're not part of the Sakai core suite. They may be hosted external to Brock University, or they've been custom built by Brock University for use by Brock instructors. This list is expected to grow in the future, so check back often. To enable these tools, simply check the boxes as, as needed, just as with the core tools, and then the continue button. and we can see that they've been added to the site. With the update, it's now possible to provide direct links to tools or content, uh, most notably content within the lessons tool in your course site. This is noteworthy as previously, it instructors were required to instruct students to log into Sakai and then click on a tool from the toolbar on the left. However, now it's possible to communicate direct links to tools themselves using emails, announcements, or messages within, within course sites by locating the direct link icon in the upper right of the page and then copying the link that's provided. If you'd like a link that's a little more easily written on the board in front of a class, click the short URL and then make use of the link, the link provided there. The Lessons tool is still relatively new at Brock University, but it's become quite popular. Those who've used it previously will note that there were a great many options along the top of the screen. However, with the update, all of those options have been consolidated into the Add Content menu to the left. But don't worry, it's all there, including the ability to add text, embed video or images, and as well provide linkages to other tools within your course site. The process for uploading multiple files within the resources tool has been made significantly easier with the update. Those who had a great many resources to upload previously were required to upload the resources one by one, and this could take quite a bit of time. However, now it's possible to do a bulk upload from your local computer. And we do that uh, just as if we were uploading a single resource by clicking the Add menu, Upload Files, and then locating the group of files from our local computer. A preview is generated, and then the upload completes after we click continue. And so the files have appeared. The assignment tool uh, probably has undergone the greatest change during this update to Isaac Sakai. Those that used turnitin.com integration via Isaac Sakai previously will recall that the assignment to tool was used for this purpose. However, sites created after the update will have to use the Assignments tool in order to integrate with Turnitin service. And that's available when you're creating a new assignment item. Peer assessment has also been added as a feature to assignments with this update. This allows students to assign points and also to assign feedback anonymously to submissions from their fellow classmates. It's 
now also possible for students to submit on behalf of a group, which will be particularly handy during group assignments. Extra credit features have been added to the Gradebook tool. This can be done at an item level by cl clicking Gradebook item and then checking the extra credit box, or at the category level by enabling categories and weighting and then extra credit. This will be useful for instructors who would like to give students an opportunity to catch up or to submit additional content uh, without those who don't submit it being penalized. An event log feature has been added to the tests and quizzes tool, which allows instructors to inspect the activities uh, for all assessments or for single assessments within their sites. This particular quiz has had only one submission, however it's possible to see the date at which the student began, finished, the length of time taking uh, that was taken to write it, and as well the technical success of the submission. In this case there were no errors and the submission went through without any trouble. The tests and quizzes audio submission feature has been updated from Flash to HTML5. This change will allow students and instructors to make audio submissions without clicking through browser-side security warnings and allows for a significantly improved user experience. As before, students will need to have access to a recording device on their computer, whether or not it's a webcam or a microphone. Record their submission, preview it, and then submit. Instructors gaining access to new sites will note that the wiki tool is no longer a selectable option within Sakai. Instructors who uh, expect to use uh, wiki-based projects within their courses are encouraged to make use of Brock's kumu.brocku.ca platform, which is available to all instructors and staff at Brock University. <coughs> Legacy sites which had access to the wiki tool will continue to do so. So that covers all of the changes with the recent update to Isaac Sakai. If you have any questions, please contact edtech at brocku.ca. That's E-D-T-E-C-H at brocku.ca. Thanks for watching.